We'll guide you through how to activate and use an eSIM on an iPhone. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really convenient to go and do, as then you don't need to go and put it in physically. We're going through some different options of how you can do this as well, whether it's transferring it from another iPhone, whether you're going and adding this as the main SIM on the iPhone, there's no other eSIM or SIM on here, or whether you want to go and add it as a secondary one, as perhaps using it for traveling. So make sure it's just full video. So if you haven't already got it, you need to go and get an eSIM. You can go and request one from your carrier. Otherwise, if you're traveling or you're trying to get a main one, open a web browser and you can go and search for eSIM. There are loads of different providers out there, so you can go and research the best one for you. If you're traveling, there's often specific providers for that. For example, uh, Rello is really great for international travel, and there are other options out there as well. So once you've gone and got an eSIM, you're going to have a QR code and potentially some details or and or details. Then what you can do is go and open up the settings on your iPhone. You want to go and scroll down and go and find the option mobile service or cellular and you can tap there. Now you can go and scroll down and you can go and find the option for add eSIM or if you haven't got any other SIM on here, it'll go and say set up. So I'll press add, but you can press set up. It'll go and take you to the same place. As you can see, we're here. Press other options at the bottom so you can see all the options. So you can go and transfer from a nearby iPhone. You can go and use a QR code, transfer from Android, or you can go and view travel options. So all of these are going to work. So if you've got a nearby iPhone, make sure you've got it nearby and unlock it, and you can transfer it, super simple. Do the same thing for Android. But in this case, we've got a QR code. So we'll go and press use QR code like so. And then what we can do is read this through, and we can go and press scan QR code as I have it. I've got this on another iPhone, so we can go and scan it but you can go and press enter details manually if it isn't going and appearing there. So we can press continue at the bottom, wait for it to load. In the next steps, we can go and choose how it's used to press continue. Sometimes they aren't always given numbers depending upon the type of SIM it is. And then what you can do is you can go and add labels. And then for this number, I can choose for the use. It could be business. In this case, this is for travel. So I'll then go and press the tick. Now you can choose the default line. This is the line that's going to be used to go and send messages and call for people who are not in your contacts. You can go and change this later, but for now I'll go and select the primary one and press continue. Choose the number you want to use for iMessage and FaceTime. I'll go and use primary. Once again, you can change it again in the future. Then for mobile data, and we can then go and press done. That's it. So you can come back to your mobile service settings and go and change that again if you want to. If you go and look in the top right, and when we go and drag down, you can go, go and see the different lines you've got here. I've got Vodafone and then Leica Mobile. Of course, yours will probably be called something different, but that's it. You've now gone and got it set up. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Have a great day.